can see but back there there's a container ship over there the msc it has a lot of cargo containers on it just sitting there for those of you who like to say hey there's no shortage the, the stuff is here it's on the ships um, you welcome to go over there and drive and see if they'll give it to you but it's not in the store so therefore there's a shortage Hey guys, so I'm back. This is like a semi vlog. I just want to let you guys know if your head is in the sand, get your head out of the sand, okay? If you can't see what's happening around you and that you need to be preparing the best you can, I don't know what else to tell you. My videos are not to make you afraid, but they are to let you see what's happening out in these stores, what's also happening around the world, if you're not paying attention to the news. So not to get deep into the news, we all see what's happening in front of us. And I can't make you go out and prepare for your family. That's something that you have to decide on your own. Don't allow anyone to tell you what you shouldn't be doing for your kids or your family. Remember, you are responsible for them, not someone else. And at the end of the day, they will be looking at you and not that other person who told you not to do whatever it is you wanted to do. And why are you asking them anyway? You grown. You grown. I wish somebody would tell me I don't need to put food aside for my family. Uh, bye. See you later. Anyway, let's get into the video and I'll see you in a few minutes. Fuel price is almost at four dollars at three fifty three here in North Carolina. What's up, my little butterflies? How are y'all doing? Welcome back to my Carolina homestead. My name is Tommy. And if you are new, thank you for being here. If you're returning, thank you for coming back. I just made it to Columbia, South Carolina. It is now 11.50. I left home at around... 920 made a stop or whatever y'all gas prices are going up um and then i got here it's 349 so i'm headed to charleston south carolina to visit with my mom i have not seen her in a while and since i'm about to have surgery next week i know it'll be a while before i see her and then once i leave her home I will be headed to uh, visit with my son uh, and he is close to Myrtle Beach and I was like why is it so hot in here because when I left home it was 49 de no yeah it was 42 degrees so I was cold and it was raining and it's uh, foggy sorry the lights going in and out but I'm like, why is it so hot in here? Because I had my heat on, my defrost on the whole time, not paying attention that the temperature changed once I got into South Carolina, you guys. It is literally 80 degrees here on February 25th. Happy Friday. Now I'm picking up my medicine and then I'm going to head on to Charleston. So I'll be back, y'all.
okay i'm back you guys i just made it to somerville south carolina uh i decided to stop by the walmart i'm gonna make this trip visiting my mom and my son a grocery store tour of the south um different stores just to, in different locations just to see if the prices have gone up anymore since this whole thing took place overseas and also how the shelves look in this particular area so like i said i'm in somerville south carolina if you guys have not started it's almost like saying it's too late to start but it's not too late you're just gonna pay more money and you are going to pay more money everything is going up so i'm not going to make this a long intro let's get into the store and let's see what's going on when i tell you it's hot as sugar honey iced tea out here i absolutely mean it i haven't seen a, a mcdonald's inside of a uh, walmart in a while you guys so let's go in so you're seeing tomatoes limes and avocados for 98 cents 63 cents you got some pineapples over here for 198. The strawberries weren't too bad in price. These grapes are 598. There's hardly anything in here. Then you got these over here for 258 a pound. That's insane. You got these oranges for 523, four pounds. I wish they'd turn that music off. It'd be a lot less editing for me. This tilapia is 1840. I don't know how many. Oh, we got four pound bag right here. Then these whitings down here are four. No, I'm sorry, 1323. So let's start up here with the shrimp. This shrimp used to be uh, $5. It's now $6.27. And then down here you have the snow crab legs in the box. The box is 24 ounce, one pound. And it's now $32.08. It used to be $19 back in 2020. So they got these beef patties for $7.96. But this one's on sale for $6.61, probably because the use or freeze by date is February 27th. So this store did have some um, bare shelves in here. If you think that this is the beginning of it, no, this has been going on for a while and it will get worse due to what's happening. chicken gizzards in a while these are 242 a pound even the livers i know some of you guys say you've been looking for livers they have them in here some of your walmart and where i live i haven't been able to find ground chicken i wish i could get this now but i'm too far away from home and not going back to tomorrow uh, the chicken is this one's 501 so that's still pretty reasonable, but the wings are still going up. In here though, it's cheaper than the other place I was at. It's 15, 18 here. The Hillshire sausages right here used to be $2.50. I see this one over here is $2.50. I've never had this brand before, but, oh yeah, I have Carolina Pride, but not in this doesn't matter to me it's 250 compared to these being 324 now so the hot dogs are looking a little low probably because they're cheaper than most things in here except for this 16 count pack here is seven dollars and 27 cents but there are no more back there see if the bologna has gone up any these are 227 i haven't had a good bologna sandwich in so long I might actually have to buy me some bologna when I get home. So the bacon is different prices. All the way from $17.28 for this three pounds to $19.28 for, well, this three pounds also. I don't know the difference. This one pack here is $10.46. $10.48. For this one. And this is 
I was looking for, I don't see it, maybe, oh, I see it, 17 ounces of bacon for $10. These have, these have been missing for a while, but lately they've been showing up in small bunches and it's empty up here. So milk hasn't gone up so far that I can tell. I'm seeing, it's two different prices on here, so I don't know. This is saying $2.93. But over here, the same brand is saying 434. So maybe it's in the wrong place. I don't know. This is the semi-juice area over here. Looking a little empty. They do have some beer. It's very expensive beer. You got water on this side. And then you got water on this side so as you can see all the 98 cent water is gone surprise not really and then I guess these are a little more not much I think if that's what this is it says a dollar I don't think anyone wants them because they have a lot of those these right here used to be about 88 cent they're now a dollar six cents and you're missing a lot over here. The Deer Park is $5.98 for 35 bottles. And then the Great Value brand over here is $2.92. You get, I don't know how many, 24. And then the ones for 40 bottles. They're all gone. They were for 38. Well, they do have toilet paper, paper towels, but certain brands they had in bulk, I think the prices were a little high on them as opposed to where you see some empty spaces at. That was a little bit cheaper for about 382, 362. The flour and seasoning sections have been shortened in this store. This is all they have in the flour section. I thought that it was 88 cent, but all the 88 cent flour was gone. Um, they had this, I think 32 ounces um, for about a dollar and some change. So they had a lot of sugar in there. They had a lot of seasonings in there so if you can get those go ahead and get them now um, this small bag was two dollars they didn't have a price for the larger bags I'm noticing that they are taking prices off of the bulk items so you don't know what it is until you ring up unless you got that little app on your phone the oil is still at seven dollars and some change it used to be uh, four dollars and fifty cent a few months ago and the smaller ones up here used to be about $1.68 and they're now $2 and some change. So if you can buy in bulk, that might be the best thing because they're going up on the prices of these individual cans here as well as these little packets that used to be about $0.98 cent to a dollar, and now they're $1.28. Expect those prices to continue to go up because those last a long time on the shelf. Now that $1.79 was an okay deal for the chunky soup, but that $1.79 is also a smaller can than you would get from the regular store. I'm noticing some brands of broth are still at 50 cents and some in North Carolina, however, is uh, about 58 cents. So the prices vary where you are. They're still short on pasta. I don't expect them getting any more pasta into these stores, you guys. So get it while you can. It's still at a reasonable price. They haven't jacked it up yet. This store had limited um, sauce though. When it comes to the rice, that was about two dollars and some change like i said the bigger ones the prices are missing off of it and the prices are astronomical yeah. here's to the good days here's to the sorrows if this is a mistake i know about tomorrow i don't want to fight no more because i don't feel the need no more no just want to make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end
the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best to say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. So when I tell you, yeah, sure, you can find some food in there. You really, really can. Um, that's not gonna be an issue. Most likely, it's gonna be you're gonna have to substitute out whatever it is you're trying to get. Sorry, y'all. Or you're not gonna be able to afford it if you have to get other things like medication, medication, okay? Because one, we need to get all we can when it comes to the medication. They have changed so much. They are short on pharmacies, not pharmacies, pharmacists. So at the Walgreens and the CVS, they will be closing early, six o'clock that's how early the pharmacy area closes and in certain locations they will not be open on the weekend i found that out the hard way so i'm letting you guys know so you can plan accordingly and get what you need while you can get it so i'll see y'all in the next video y'all take care remember to give this video a like because a thumbs up will help the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and consider hitting that red button, turn it on your notifications so you'll know when I upload a video. And that means turn on your notifications and uh, make it gray, right? Make that red button gray on that subscribe button. Bye y'all. I love you, but God loves you more. Look down there, there's more cargo ships.